for this Perseid meteor shower. Guys, to will be lit up. Yeah, a rare meteor shower is expected to fly across the night sky. Brad Panovich standing by tonight. Brad, will we be able to see it here? There's a possibility coming up tomorrow at about 1150, which is plus or minus 30 minutes. So there's just a 30 minute window on either side of that time. They're going to be coming around just above the constellation of Perseus. So if you've got one of those astronomy apps on your phone, you'll be able to find it like that. Oh. Stay off your cell phone for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Kind of give it away from your, your, your eyes so your eyes can adjust to the darkness and really get uh, max viewing here of this awesome meteor shower. An old comet that would produce a burst of meteors, maybe up to 400 in that time period. So, and then hopefully you'll be able to see up to 100 meteors an hour. Called Thatcher and the result is a meteor shower. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Man. Check out our uh, crack meteor. <laughs> it's rough out here, man. What's up, man? God, it's brutal out here. Well, nice start job, right? Please. Please. So because of this constant moving, this creates a tremendous amount of friction. Eventually, the friction cannot hold the pressure, causing the plates to rupture rapidly. This energy is felt as an earthquake to us mere mortals. Gotta watch out for that sound. Oh, it's gonna get you. Oh, a volunteer. Excellent. Mr. Brian. Dude. Uh, oh, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat the question, please? What do you think, class? Should Mr. Brian be privy to information he's been intentionally ignoring? All in favor, raise a hand. <coughs> uh-huh. Well, anyway, just read chapter 18, Brian, and maybe save the movie for after. All right, tectonics, types of earthquakes, finish the reading. Oh, 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 and anyone who watches the meteor shower tonight and takes notes about it and writes about it will get extra credit. Something you might be interested in, Brian? Copy that. All right, dismissed. <laughs> so, anyways, that kid figured out when no one was going to be down in the locker room, and that's when he pulled the fire alarm the exact same time, three days in a row. 
Are you serious? Serious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would have loved to skip out on humanities three times in a row. That would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, what happened? He never got caught. What? Serious. That's why they put the school officer down there after the third time. After they, or so that's why they installed the camera in the hallway during the summer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. Mm. Try this one. Okay. You know that crazy math teacher I told you about? The one you had two years in a row. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. that one. Okay. So senior year, after first period, <clears throat> the intercom lady comes up and she's all like. Would whoever stole Mr. Isaac's doorknob from his classroom please return it immediately? No. <laughs> um, someone brought a tool to take off the door handle thing and then they just walked off. Oh. Oh wow. Um, can you wait a second? Yeah. Yes, I just drove in this morning. Uh, it's nice to see you, Carter. Uh, Alvin, uh, Ryan, come here. This is my uh, classmate, Brian. Hello. Hey. Um, are you gonna watch the meteor shower tonight? Meteor? Oh yes, uh, right. I totally forgot about that. Sounds great. Yeah, I'll totally, yeah. Okay. Well, it was good seeing you, Carter, and nice meeting you too, Brian. Uh, likewise. Oh, and uh, here's some coupons, just in case you need to stock up on water or other supplies on the cheap. Thanks. Cool. That was kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But that's just very out of character of him to do that. Well, are we going to see you at the county line tonight? I can't. I got a family reunion and stuff tonight and tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, I got to go pick up my brother. See you when we see you. Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Bye. See ya. Hey Brian, over here. What's up, dude? Not much. How about you? Hey, good to see you, man. You too. Yeah, you know. This is my little brother, Alex. Nice to meet you. Uh, so how about the meteors? They look awesomely awesome. You got a good spot? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. Wow, there's a lot of them tonight. I actually have to write an extra credit report about this. I don't know what about specifically, but just this. <laughs>
good. That was really close. Jeez. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Dude, I'll hold up just one sec. I'll be right there. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Oh, we're just at the county line. We're watching the meteor showers. Dude, this one just landed like right in front of us. We're gonna go check it out. No, Brian, you can't do that. What are you talking about? You needed to be home 25 minutes ago. You can check that thing out later. Uh, no, Mom, we're literally right there. Like, I'm looking at it right now. Brian, no. You want to keep eating here for free? Sleeping here rent-free? You want to use my internet for free? Then you will be on your way home right now. Alex needs to finish his homework. Okay, yep. Alex, we gotta go. Tonight here, we have learned there was no warning. More on that from NASA in just a moment here. The video is extraordinary. I just can't get tired of watching this. And you're not alone. The American Meteor Society says more than 90 people say they saw the dazzling meteor that lit up the evening sky. It raced towards Earth at over 40,000 miles per hour. To NASA, this was the biggest meteor to hit Earth in over a century, weighing more than the Eiffel Tower. You know the rules. Mm, no phones at the okay, table. Okay, just a second. No, just a second. Put your phone away. Okay, it's fine. Jeez. Just texting Carter. He hasn't texted back yet. I thought you said he was at a family reunion. Well, he is, but it's just weird because he always responds. You know, even if he's busy, he's like, I am busy. Maybe he doesn't have service. I don't know, I guess. He'll call you back. He always does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. It's really good, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm going to be late. All right, have a good day. Oh, don't forget to pick up Alex when you're done. Hey, I won't. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. 
So, uh, what's up with your swim stuff? Well, we got a meet this weekend. Oh, yeah. We've been practicing pretty hard for it. We'll yeah. see. I think I'll win. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I've been watching the uh, other school. They're pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see. What What are you competing in? Or like what? Event? What is that? Um, I think I'll be swimming like 500 freestyle or something like that. Maybe a few other things. I don't know. They kind of tell me there, usually. Oh, they tell you what you're competing in? Yeah. It's rigged. So, do you know what you want? I think I'll just get number 12. 12. That's a good one. Okay. 12. Is that the turkey bacon one? No, I don't think so. That's the, uh... Beach Club. Welcome to Jimmy John's. Order one over Hello, uh, we'll just get a number 12 beach club and a number 10, um, but with no tomatoes, add peppers. You said a 12 and a number 10? Yes. And just no tomatoes, add peppers on both or just the 10? On the 10, do you want? Okay. Yeah, just the 10. All right, anything else for you? Um, nope, that'll be good. All right. All right, so I have the number 12 and the number 10 with no tomatoes and add peppers. So it's going to be 1322 at the window for you. Awesome, thanks for the best. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's super good. Hey, hey, we're pretty close. Let's go see the asteroid. No, I don't, we don't have time. Uh, why not? Well, I have to finish my essay thing first. <sighs> Maybe. You're fine, just stop. I'm gonna drive by Carter's house. Hey, that's weird. There's four cars in this driveway. Hmm. Hold the sandwich. Be right back. So how was that uh, date with What's-Her-Face? Oh, yeah. Solid. Really bad. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, truly miserable. Huh, um, that's exciting. Uh, tell me everything, obviously. I don't want to. It was, uh, it was embarrassing, and it makes me uncomfortable. Really? That bad? Yeah. Ooh. I'm solid. You're solid. Wow. That actually reminds me of uh, a double date I went on. It was super bad, super awkward. Oh, it's pretty wild. Yeah, we met these girls from another school a couple times over at a football game. And we're like, oh, they're kind of cute. Let's do a double date. It was like an hour away. Not too big of a deal, but still a pretty big time investment. A drive. It was a drive, yeah. And so we get there, and why? Just like that. I think like it's because you're bad. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You can. But we get there, and the whole town is under construction. That was a solid shot. Thank you. And so there's all these detours, like literally every single road has like a detour on it. So we can't just go from point A to point B. We're like going all over the place. Oh, I got one. Again? I, Why are you good? Stop it. <laughs> and so we get to one of their ho homes, that the address that they gave us. And her dad answers and like, oh, they're not here right now. Here, let me give you the address. And so we're like, okay, okay. But then again, we can't go directly there because the whole town's under construction. Ridiculous. 
so we're just you know zigzagging around. The first half of the day was just us trying to find them. It was a wild goose chase. Very weird, but we're having a good time. It's like it's fine. They're worth it. They're cute. Please. <laughs> so anyway, we finally find them, and they still have to like finish their errands. So like, oh, we just have a few things left. Can you help us out? <laughs> Did they know like, you were coming? Yeah. Like we established this, and they're. <laughs> Anyways, so then we would do all their little errands with the whole town under construction, and then we finish. But then it's their curfew, so we just we just have to take them home. Hmm. It's not very well planned out by them. Yeah, it was awful to get some uh, some free help. <laughs> So the first half of the day was a wild goose chase, and the second half we were just chauffeurs. Yeah. I think it was a really great con. <laughs> Probably exactly what it was. But uh, they texted us a couple days later, and we're just like, nah. And yeah, that was that's the end of that story. We had more groceries. Yeah. <laughs> we need more groceries. Can you come pick us up? Yeah. No. I, I'm just gonna yolo this. <laughs> Have you seen this? No, what? Uh, Wait, is that real? I think so. That's really close. Yeah. that way. If we go right up this way, apply the 89. Yeah, that might work. Because the 89, does that go all the way to... Um, okay. Yeah. Up through here. I mean, which should be a main line right here. Which hopefully we'll have more left with stuff, because there's nothing here. This is... This is done for. There's nothing here. I wonder if we, like... I don't know where the roads are, but this creek, this river oh, goes river. right underneath the highway. That so, would do that, and that should be an open area here, which would lead us right where we need to be. It's maybe, maybe 10, 20 miles. That shouldn't be... Just like a day. 
We just got to move fast before it gets dark. And we're screwed. Hey, Alex, soup done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I told you to do. Thank you.